sure are looking good for a chilly September morning. It's the 19th, 2011. Thanks for joining us here at Fox News Rising. I'm Anna Coyman. You know, dogs have been called man's best friend. They can also be called man's best comforter in some situations. Daryl Savage with Psych Dog Charlotte joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, Anna. And you brought along Taylor, who's this having a Taylor. big old time with that rawhide. She is. She's the face of Psych Dog Charlotte. And you have an event coming up in, in, in not too long, but I want you to talk a little bit about Psych Dog Charlotte. What is it exactly? Well, Psych Dog Charlotte was actually founded uh, last week, uh, officially. The way it all got started was one, a family member was diagnosed um, with, with something and found out, we found out from our doctor that a psychiatric service dog could actually help mm -hmm. better than medication. And we were like, really? Because we've never heard of it. So Dr. Tia Comser gave a written prescription to make it legal. And then all of a sudden, we just tried to find out more information and we couldn't about the federal laws and everything else. So I even asked my friend Morgan Fogarty, because mm -hmm. she's so cool in love, her. Right, if she could help me. And after two weeks, she came back and said, I, I don't have anything. We have to change this. So we decided to make it easy for people in the Charlotte area to go ahead, people who are diagnosed with anything from depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, panic disorder. Even schizophrenia. Even schizophrenia and autism. Imagine you're out, you have panic disorder, you're out and you are freaking out having a panic attack. The dogs can be trained to immediately provide you comfort. Yeah, and you know, just for the, the everyday pet owner, you really enjoy the time and I, I think you come home and you're greeted with a wagging tail and a lick on the face and that can mean all the difference to you. But if you're somebody who's, who's really struggling emotionally, that can help you just as much as a service dog would help somebody who doesn't have legs. Absolutely, not only that, I mean, some of the tasks that they're trained to do are automatically cuddle and kiss. Like, oh. You know, like you like your home, a dog at home, you can say, give, give a kiss. I mean, well, they can do ground you if uh -huh. you're not feeling well to make you feel more comfortable. So how do they do that? And how, how do they know when it's time to do that? Actually, when you've been with the dog for a little while, they know you. Mm -hmm. In fact, when Taylor is in working mode, she checks in with us or the people of our family about every five seconds. Really? She does. She'll look back and see what's going on to see where you are and how you're feeling. And if she sees that you're not doing well, she will literally come up and do the tasks that she thinks that you need to happen. Wow. There are actually seizure dogs um, that are out there. Uh, there's a lawsuit right now against Charlotte, as a matter of fact, for a little child who wasn't allowed to have his seizure dog in his classroom with him. Mm. It's protected by the American with Disabilities Act, and this dog can actually smell seizures before they happen and give him comfort before it happens. Yeah, and then and and get them out. into a yep. safe environment, too, which, so, which can certainly help. I want to make sure we get to the event that's coming up. Give yes. us the date, the time, the place, the whole deal. The date is October 22nd, and it is going to be at an amazing, it's a really amazing menu. It's called Sheer Excellent Salon. It's mm -hmm. in Dilworth. Um, Laura Henderson's the owner. She actually gave us the space out of the kindness of her heart. She and her staff are awesome. And, and what kind of event is it? It's a fundraiser. We are ground roots starting up. And, so. and what kind of a fundraiser now? We want to have, we're going to have raffles, we're going to have more information, we're going to have doctors on staff so people can find out more about the, the medical aspect of, of psychiatric service dogs and how it's there. Uh, we're going to have music, we're going to have, um, we're going to have everything. We're even going to have, uh, who's going to do the catering? We're going to have... Uh, but you got good food, too. Yeah, good food, Good yeah. job. And, uh, Taylor, thank you so much for coming in, sweetheart, Daryl. Good stuff, and good luck at your event, okay? Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Have a good Monday. All right, we've got a whole lot more for you. Coming up next, Joey Huell. He's normally in here on Fashion Friday, but he's got a fashion wrap from the Emmys. Stay close.